Donald Trump. Well, you know, Donald and I are like this. We're pals. Joe Behar professes his love for Trump on live TV. That was a hilarious statement. I saw him at the Adele concert. Are last... you being facetious? Or... No. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Last week yeah, I saw yeah. him on the Adele, and I went on over the Adele. On the Adele concert <laughs> at the Radio City Music Hall. Well, she was phenomenal, yeah. by the way. What a singer! Yeah, she's. Oh great. my God, I would kill for a voice like that. Yeah. So you see Donald so at I the Adele concert. I see Donald over there, and Steve says to me, "Go over and talk to Donald, my husband, because he he's pushy like that." So I say to him. Oh, Really? He says, just go talk to him. Donald couldn't be nicer to me. Oh, it's so nice to see you, Melania. You mean all the stuff that they've, you guys have said about him on The View? I haven't said anything that bad. The worst thing I ever said to him about him was that he's not the worst one. How's that? Seriously? You're saying you didn't slander him? You're lying to all of our faces. <laughs> As it turns out, you know who <laughs> says he cannot come up with the cash <laughs> to cover his poor hundred million dollar plus bond in his New York fraud case. <laughs> so, oh. is Letitia James, like, gonna just... Do you need a tissue? I, I don't Here, know dear. if I'm laughing or crying. Here, put, put, try to wipe the tears. I, I don't I will. see any real tears. Well, there's, <laughs> no, there's tears inside me. <laughs> <laughs> but is Letitia James gonna go, like, Put a, a chain on Trump Tower? <laughs> yeah. And take it like away that. from him? She so, said that. He doesn't have the money. His Nobody wants to lend him the money, in this country anyway. Who knows what's going to happen with Russia and Saudi Arabia? Because they know that he doesn't pay his bills back. And obviously, yes. he didn't make enough money in that golden sneaker thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or the Trump uh, University, or the Trump stakes. But wait, but wait a minute. What, or the what about well, every Jared? Business. Doesn't Jared? This was one of the last segments of the week long show, The View. You're a blatant liar. You should think about what you're saying. We are back with Senator John McCain. You stood up to that, to that. Uh, why are you so different from everybody else? <laughs> <laughs> you know a lot about politics, you know about the law, but do you know about pop culture? I don't know. That's We're going to find out. We need you to stay engaged. Well, you know, I think we, and, and we need you guys to keep it going. I don't know where that is today in the Republican Party, and so I'm just not comfortable being part of it. Which part bothers you, though? I think it's it, a give and take, not just from the administration, but also from the news media. I is think the media supposed to not report on the fact that 95% of what he says is a lie? You say in the book that you wanted to, you should have said this or you should yeah. have done that. What, say it now. Okay, what, so say it. We got you something. You can just wear this from now on. <laughs> Back up. Back up. You get to see a lot more of these people up close than most Americans. Yes. What have you learned seeing uh, our politics up close? Stop, stop. I want to take this. She's learned how to suck up. Joy Behar is a sycophantic bitch who can only talk behind people's backs and not say anything to their faces. In this country. Well, everybody's, you know, in the best behavior at The View, and they're scared of us, too. They're a little scared of us. You don't seem that scary. They're, I'm not scared. They, you mean scary? You're not scary, yeah. No, but they don't know what's going to, you know, happen, what we're going to say. I mean, even Joe Biden years and years ago told me he's, he'd much rather go and meet the press than, than The View. Because the meet the press is very, yeah, blah, 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 blah. But The View is, yeah. It's blah, blah, blah versus, yeah. what's the second one? <laughs> <laughs> By well, the way, can we give a shout out to that woman? who told the FBI or told whoever. Jennifer Taub? Yeah, yeah, about that they were telling her to, to say that Mueller sexually harassed her. I mean, he's Can now, you believe that? Well, he is now inoculated, it's interesting, against mm. the sexual harassment claim, because no one's going to believe it now. Is that, is that not the most wild story? Wow. I mean, we, we had the headline up here, and it says, a plot to frame Mueller. I yeah, mean, that's yeah. where we are. I mean, I like to say, salute that, that lady. Yeah, because she knew what to do, and she reported it in, and now it's, as you say, inoculated. The View is a bunch of stupid girls who don't know a damn thing about politics and just talk complete bullshit to a huge audience. You're bought girls. Mm -hmm. um, I want to show some of your uh, your times with Donald Trump on The View over Oh, yeah, I know him. I went to his first wedding, his second wedding to Marla, you know. They say the second wedding's the there best one. There wasn't a wet eye in the room, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, th but you've also at times gotten along with him, as, as, as yeah, you've known. Who and then, knew? Who, who knew he was such a psycho? I, I, I liked the guy in a way. It was like, oh, he's a New York character. And now, you know. Character, yeah. And I think that the funny thing about being, I mean, I, I grew up on the West Coast, but you spend time in New York. 
and you see some of these people up close, and it's different than the way the rest of the country might see them at a distance. Well, so perfectly, perfectly co coiffed and well presented on a reality show. Well, New York, did, as you know, probably did not vote for him. I heard that. Yeah, because we knew that we know. I didn't know you were bringing news updates tonight. Well, I, I, sometimes <laughs> I, I have to do that. But, uh, you know, we know the beast. We knew him. We get it. Yeah. Just like, you know, Mike, Michael Bloomberg said, I know a con man when I see one. And he's a con man. Mm -hmm. So the New Yorkers are hip to it. I mean, in the rest of the country, they really didn't know him the way we do. Well, here, let's look at you and him over the years. All right. He says that it's his own hair. So I believe him because I believe Donald. He's an upstanding American. Yeah. But America doesn't believe him. <laughs> okay, you ready? Come on. Just check it out. Please. No, it's true. It's, it's, it's real. It's not very pretty, but it's, it's real. real. If you're known as a patsy, if you're known as somebody that takes it, I think it's terrible. Well, but the ad hominem attacks, those really are not effective. Hello, you silly toady. How's it going? Remember what I said about her? Well, now we've seen it in person. Every time she comes face to face with someone she's judging, she just stays silent and afraid. Pathetic mouse joy. Has, do you think he knew what ad hominem meant? No, I don't think he knew. But he, <laughs> but he'll 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 pick up one of the things because he is uh, a real creative con type of salesman. Yeah, yeah. He'll pick up anything you say. You say it, right. and he'll say it back to you. You know, fake news was a term that was used to describe the right-wing articles that spread on Facebook in October that helped him. Uh -huh. And after he heard the criticism, he grabbed it. Now everyone thinks it's his term, and he goes, well, I guess I won. Well, also, lock, them, lock her up and uh, build the wall. I think somebody mentioned it to him at one, the beginning of his, one of his rallies, mm -hmm. and he said, hey, that's pretty good, because they all responded to it. He doesn't, he's not, he, it doesn't have his own mind. He, he picks up, as you say. But did he change? From those, what we just saw. When well, you obviously, you know, he, I never thought that he would be this bad. Never. Because even before he, he won, I said, well, if he wins, God forbid, um, he, he can't be really such a maniac. And he's much you worse. You thought he would, a lot of people said, well, if he wins, he would get a little better, more responsible. And you yeah. think he's worse? I think he's worse. Yeah. I thought he was also a secret Democrat, which he shows us he's not. He's not a Republican or a Democrat. He's just an anarchist, as far as I'm concerned. Hmm. And I don't mean that in an ad hominem sort of way. <laughs> uh, Old Joy Behar is still undecided whether she likes Trump or thinks he's a maniac. I've always been amazed by programs like The View. You can't have honest people on a show like that. They are mostly psychheimer and lying to themselves and especially to the viewer. She's a scaredy mouse who just came out of her hole and is afraid of being judged. When she met Stramp, she was silent and afraid to say anything bad. You're a liar, Joy. What do you think of this character? Write your opinion in the comments, and don't forget to watch other shocking news on the channel.